Hey everyone, Techman Pat here, and today we're diving into something small and extremely powerful. And no, it's not a new GPU, it's not a phone, and no, it doesn't mine crypto. This tiny piece of tech is called a YubiKey, a 5C NFC version, and it's quite possibly the most important thing you didn't know you needed in your digital life. And before we get too deep, I'm giving away five of these Yubi keys over on the Discord channel. They're valued at 110 Australian dollars each, and I'll post them anywhere in Australia. So if you've ever been slightly curious, join the Discord, you'll find out exactly what this is in the video, and you could win one for free and lock down your digital life like Fort Knox. Big thanks to Yubico for sending the keys for review and throwing in a few more to give away. Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get started by rolling the intro. So what is a YubiKey 5C NFC? And what does Fort Knox have to do with it? Well, a YubiKey is a small physical device, as you can see, that acts like an extra layer of protection for your online accounts. Think of it like a car key, but for your digital life. And normally when you log into something like an email or bank account, you type in your password, but if someone else gets your password through, let's say a phishing scam or a data breach or just guesses, they can log in too. But a YubiKey stops that. Even if someone has your password, they still can't get into your account unless they also have your YubiKey, the little physical item right here. So when you log in, you either plug the key into your device or tap it on the back of your phone and it confirms you're really you, or at least you have your key <laughs> and in real life. No one else can fake it and it doesn't rely on text messages, apps, or anything stored in the cloud. It's a simple offline way to lock down your accounts with physical proof that you're the only one that has this key and you're trying to get in. Now, the one we have here today is the latest and greatest version, the 5C NFC. Its prime directive is versatility. It's got a USB-C connector on top and for laptops, desktops, Android phones, and it also supports the NFC wireless tap to authenticate on mobile phones. So whether you're on a MacBook, Windows machine, or an Android phone, you're covered. And of course, it works on your iOS device. Now, the setup process is surprisingly easy. You go to your account security settings, let's say it's Google, and add a new security key. Plug in the UB key, tap this little button right here when prompted, and boom, you're done. So personally, I repeated the process for Facebook, LinkedIn, GitHub, and most importantly, my password manager, Bitwarden. Each one took under two minutes, no apps to install, no codes to copy, and no dodgy SMS messages that could be intercepted from halfway across the world. One of the biggest benefits of the YubiKey is that it works offline. No need for any batteries to be charged, no need for a reception, and no third-party apps like Google Authenticator. The key lives in your hand or around your neck, and it either works or it doesn't. It's a binary yes or no kind of security, and that simplicity is exactly why it's so secure. Now, enough of this jibber-jabber. Let's talk about use cases. I tested the YubiKey 5C NFC on a range of devices. On my MacBook, it plugs in straight into the USB-C port and logs me into Google in literally one touch. On my Windows machine, same deal. And then on an Android phone, I can tap it on the back when logging in, thanks to that new NFC capability, and I'm in. And yes, it works on iPhones too, but you'll need iOS 16 or newer for the NFC functionality to work correctly. But you can always plug it in with an adapter if your phone doesn't have USB-C, which is only on the latest phones anyway, but you can still do it with the plugin. So in practice, logging into accounts is the classic two-step logging. Enter your password, plug in the key, or tap it to your phone. Touch the metal button, like area, and you're done. No more searching through the Authenticator app, no more praying that your SMS comes through in time, or comes through at all. Now, you may be thinking it could be annoying, but like any two-factor authentication, you don't need the key every single time you log in. Most services will only prompt you when you're logged in from a new device. 
or a new browser or after a suspicious activity. So for daily use, it's not annoying or intrusive. It just sort of sits on your keychain until it's needed. But let's talk about the pros and cons of a device like this, and starting with the pros. The number one advantage is physical security. This is next level protection. Even if someone gets your password, they still can't log in without this physical key. It blocks phishing, SIM swapping, and remote attacks because again, no key, no access. The second major pro is simplicity. Once it's set up, using it is kind of full foolproof. You don't really need to remember codes. You don't have to fumble through your phone looking for an app. You just plug it in, tap it. It's also compatible with a wide range of services. So I've mentioned Google, I mentioned Apple, and Microsoft, of course, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, Dropbox, Bitwarden, as pointed out, and one password. The list really goes on. And if you use anything remotely sensitive or valuable online, chances are it supports YubiKey. I will put the link of the list below so you can check it out before making any decisions. Now, another pro is build quality. This thing is tiny, but it feels solid. It's waterproof, crush proof, and look, pretty much idiot proof. You could probably run it over with a desk chair and it'd still work. I mean, after all, it's NFC. And look, let me finish off with the final pro. It doesn't need batteries. I know I pointed it out before. There's no firmware to update either. There's no connectivity dramas. As far as I have tested, it just works. Now, for the cons, yes, there's a few. First, the price. At 110 Australian dollars, the price doesn't reflect its tiny size. But then again, identity theft is more expensive to unwind and the losses could be staggering, so I guess there's that. So if you've got accounts tied to your income, reputation or sensitive data, it's hard to put a price on peace of mind that nobody else can get in. Now, I tend to liken this to putting a deadlock on your home. Yeah, sort of. Now, second, there is a bit of a learning curve. Some people might find the setup intimidating. It's simple, but especially if you've used SMS codes or basic app authentications, this is quite a new experience, kind of like going backwards, right? But to be honest, if you can follow a YouTube tutorial, you'll be fine. And once you do it once, <laughs> it's the same for all other services. It may even work to help the older generation to stay safe online. I mean, imagine setting this up for your elderly parents where you tell them that if they ever want to log in, it's on a string or a rope in the kitchen. And that's all they ever need to do. And nobody else will get anything from them. Third, not every service supports hardware keys yet. Most of the major platforms do, but some banks and government services or smaller sites might still be catching up. That's just the reality of the world. It's getting better each year, but something to be aware of. Now, best to check before you buy, of course. Lastly, you do need to have a backup plan. If you lose your YubiKey and don't have a second one, some services will lock you out completely and go through a very lengthy recovery process. It's smart to register two keys if possible. Keep one on your keychain and stash the other in a drawer or a safe. Redundancy isn't just for RAID arrays. It applies to security too. So to circle back, the initial investment is 220 Australian dollars. You need to. So who is this for? If you're someone who runs a business, works in IT, handles client data, manages a YouTube channel, trades crypto or stock, or even just wants to lock down your Gmail, because look, if you've got your email secured, any password recovery usually always goes through email in the first place. But if you're the kind of person who still uses the same password in 2008 or keeps your two-factor authentication codes on a sticky note on your monitor, you might not be ready for this. Though, to be fair, the YubiKey could become your new sticky node. So I think you probably need it more than others. As for me, I've known about these keys for a long time. I've seen people use them and only have I now started to see the value where every site is connected to that single point of intersect, like your password manager or email or other services dependent on you having access to those. So why not secure them like Fort Knox? <laughs> so I have set the key on my critical accounts. It's become part of my kit. I don't worry about getting fished anymore. I don't panic if somebody finds out my password in another leak. Without this key, they're not getting in. It's one less thing to stress about. So 
If you value your online security and want to make it basically impossible for someone else to log into your accounts, yes, get one, or more realistically, you will need to get two. Set them up properly, of course, store them safely, and maybe you'll sleep a little bit better at night. Now then, I'm giving away five of these on Discord. Jump in, say hi in the giveaway channel, and you'll be in the draw. No hoops, no nonsense, just helping five people get serious about their security, or at least halfway there. But you have to be in Australia, that's all I ask. Links are in the description to grab your own if you so wish, or of course join the Discord. If this video helped you, then tap the like button, and if you want more tech reviews like this, hit subscribe. Big thanks to Ubico, of course more links about them below, for sending this for review and sending these extra ones for a giveaway. Thank you to you for watching, stay safe online, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!